The Gina and Maddie podcast. From EFTM.com, uh, the Today Show, uh, Australia's premier tech guru and baseball scorer. It is the one and only Trevor Long. <laughs> G'day, Trev. Yes. Good morning. How are you, mate? You, how, how was Apple Park? We, uh, we we missed you last week, mate. You were over there doing uh, the big announce for the iOS 18. Did you have a good trip? had a great trip. Uh, it is an epic place. It's just a bit busy uh, when I'm over there because uh, they announce so many things and then they shuffle you. Oh, look, they won't mind me saying this. They yep. probably will. But I call them abduction days <laughs> because what they do is they say, come with me. And you're like, where am I going? I, I don't know. And then they just take you somewhere and it's a room inside the big headquarters or it's in there fitness center and they have briefings uh, every hour of every day to talk you through all the new products. So it's a very busy few days uh, whenever Apple launched new things. All right. Well, let's, let's, amazing. It does sound a lot of fun, uh, especially for a tech nerd, but let, there is some more stuff going on in the world of tech at the moment. And I know, Gina, you'd be all over this. The mm. Stoove Big Hug. <gasps> see, I've been wanting heated CDs on, in my car. <laughs> so what's what? how does this work, Trev? This is better. This is heated seating for anywhere. Oh. So Stuve is the brand name, S-T-O-O-V. The big hug is the product because it just feels like you're getting a big warm hug when you sit on it. There's two versions, the standard and the XL, about 200 bucks. Um, but they have a battery in them, so they're not wi- you're not wired to the lounge. Oh. Mm. You could take this to kids' sports on the weekend, and Matt, I would have loved to have this when I was scoring my son's baseball when I landed last Friday because it was freezing cold. Put it on your camp chair. Sit back, and it's like you've got heated seats right there for your last what? a few hours. How good is that? Absolute joy. Yeah. If you're going away camping this yeah. school holidays, oh, like so t- get one idea. of those, take it away, and then charge people to use it, like make a profit. Yeah. <laughs> or if you're single and you just want a hug. <laughs> what a warm hug. Now, so I'm going to resort to that. I've always said my motto has always been size doesn't matter, Trevor, but apparently it does when it comes to TVs. That was, uh, for a long time, my motto, and then I got married and realised it didn't matter, and uh, <laughs> TVs are more important. Yeah. And I have a 100-inch TV, and I am validated by some new surveys, uh, research from Samsung, who say that 46% of Australians suffer TV envy after comparing the size and quality of their own TV to a friend or family members. Yeah. I had this on the weekend, a mate of mine hadn't seen him for ages, came by, uh, we walked through the lounge room, and he went, whoa, and I said, mate. Go big or go home. And it's true. <laughs> That's absolutely what people think. Size and quality is the number one factor for people, um, and yeah, you've that's just, the most important thing in buying a TV. You've just given me so much envy. As soon as you said yours was that big, we'll, we'll like, with our arms. Yeah, How big yeah, is that? Yeah. It's two hundred and fifty-four centimeters. It's literally uh, a meter taller than me. Two and a half meters. <laughs> and that's meters wow. diagonally. And but how good so is good. watching the F1 on a TV that big? <laughs> Very good, uh, except when you wake your family up at 1am in the morning. Oh, <laughs> you can't do that. But we all watch so much home TV, like Netflix and Binge and all mm. that. You want it to feel like a movie. You, we all come into your house, Trev. That's it. And look, the thing is, everyone often, I get so many questions, what TV should I buy, whatever. The mm. first thing I say is, what's the space? Yeah. Because a lot of people think that they've got to replace a 55 with a 55, but... I don't, you can move a painting to the side. You can move a frame over there, and then you can make more space. Now, obviously, you can only afford what you can afford, but you'd be blown away by what you can get on a budget in terms of big screen TVs. And, um, Trev, I'm usually sceptical when Aldi put out special buys because half of it's usually rubbish, but something happening tomorrow is quite, quite epic. But this is critical because this is a, a big brand. Ecovacs make, they're the number one robot vacuum mm. uh, seller in Australia. And every year, Aldi sell an Ecovacs vacuum on special. Mm. This one's epic, though. 500 bucks. It's not just a, a vacuum, it is a mop as well, but full mapping for your home. And when it gets back to base after it's finished cleaning, it cleans itself out. So oh, the wow. auto empty station sucks all the dust and debris out into a dust bag, and you clean that out every couple of months. It's brilliant. It's the best. We've got one at home, and and I vacuum normally, which is my Dyson. And then you put that, you let that one go, and the dust and stuff it finds, it fills up. You think you're clean until you've got a rubber vacuum. You know, you're not meant to vacuum yourself. You're meant to leave it to the robot. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Trev. Uh, I've been telling you that for ages. Uh, normally retails for a thousand bucks, going for five hundred. What a bargain, yep. Trevor. We'll chat to you this time next week, buddy. Gina and Maddie. We are talking about weird food combos.
Love doing this one. Love it. We've done it before. We want to hear about the weird combinations mm. of food. It's either you, maybe it, dads are bandits for having weird food combos. Yeah. Kids also. Ziggy Mom. at the moment is like, he's all about dipping his little cuke. You know, the little oh, yeah, cucumber love into, into his tomato sauce. I'm like, dude, oh. I don't really think the cuke needs any tomato sauce, but hey. Oh, they're good in hummus. Yeah. Peanut butter. Tomato sauce, probably no. not. Uh, who are we going to first here, Loz? Debbie. To Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Weird food combos. Not me, but my cousin has tomato sauce on her wheat bix. Oh. Dry, <laughs> dry wheat bix, no milk, nothing like that. Just, yes, yeah, smothers them with tomato sauce. That <laughs> is weird. That is so strange. My sister, my sister used to have orange juice on her cereal, and uh, that's like the first sign of a psychopath, I reckon. I guess if you got cereal. it. But- <laughs> You got it in a glass next to the cereal. Yeah. She's just saving how, herself some time. How desperate are you to like <laughs> save time? Like, just have something else. I don't think she could drink. She couldn't drink milk there for a while. But it's oh. like, don't have cereal then. Oh. David's in San Remo. Hi, David. What's your weird food combo, David? Devon and lemon spread. Okay. Lemon lemon spread like the old fashioned kind of. It's almost yeah. like a jam. That's right. Yeah, the old lemon butter on oh. on Devon on meat. On Devon, yep. And then on, like, a, on a, you can have it straight on it on the, uh, the lemon butter straight on the Devon, or you can have it on a sandwich. Okay, yeah, right. So, where, how did you discover this? Did someone suggest it, or did you just stumble upon it? No, I think I just did it when I was younger, and then yeah, when I was going to school, yeah, you know, I had to make my mum make it all for me. I bet Didn't no like doing it, but you know, I loved eating I it. I bet nobody <laughs> wanted to swap lunches with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so that's the weirdest one ever. <laughs> Thanks, David. Leanne, what's your weird food combo? Mine's a bit of an extension of an earlier one, but I don't think it's here, but my son in law does. <laughs> I have raisin toast with Vegemite and vegan cheese. Okay. Oh. So, vegan cheese, why is it vegan cheese? Because I'm vegan. But is there oh. not, is there not like any, like, is there an animal product in Vegemite? No. Oh, is, uh, Vegemite's just vegan. Yeast, yeah. Oh, just yeast. Ah, oh. oh, right. Okay. I thought there might have been some animal fats rolling around in there, but no. <laughs> No. What's what's the best vegan cheese going around? If you've had to you've had to eliminate some, I'd imagine. What's the best vegan oh, cheese? Yeah. yeah, some of them are just like plastic and awful. Yeah, um, she, it's called she with an S. Oh, she's with an oh, yeah. S, and just from the supermarkets. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. Beautiful. All right, community service announcement and a weird <laughs> food combo. I love it, Leanne. Thanks for listening. Thank you. No worries. We've got some more on socials as well. Lozzie, at Gina and Maddie on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, I've picked some of my favourites. Yeah. All right, this one from Sarah Jane. Chicken slices from the deli with salt and vinegar chips and Vegemite. Oh, my Lord. I just want to... <laughs> what? How you get to that point of your yeah. life where you're putting all those things together. Are you drunk? Uh, are, you, are you drunk and you're hungry? It's yeah. like midnight and yeah. that's all that's in. It. That's yeah. all that's left. I got one here from Jody Burkwood, which I reckon I could get right around. So it's a meat pie. Right, you take the lid off, which I used to do all the time as a kid. That's how I used yeah. to eat a meat pie. You take the lid off, you put the tomato sauce in, then you eat, scoop out the meat, you eat the meat. Then with the Vegemite on white bread, you dip it into the meat, get oh. it up, eat that, then you eat the lid last. What? I reckon oh. that would taste incredible. It sounds oh weird, God. but I reckon that would taste okay. There's one more that I <laughs> just love from Kimberly. My go-to meal is bacon and egg nachos with avocado and crispy onion. Oh, yes. Again. What? Yuck. Yeah, no, nah, get in my mouth. Uh, that just, sounds incredible. I want to be there when these things <laughs> when happen. When the creation's <laughs> made. they're just going, like, if you're pregnant or something, I would understand because yeah. you're like, I feel like this and this. Let's put it all together. But oh. are you just there going, it, no. huh? may as well? It, it's got to be a late night decision, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Well, if Heston Blumenthal <laughs> can make a soap taste like orange, I, yeah. re- I, re- I, re- I reckon it's okay. Gina and Maddie.